What's up guys, Zan for Forward Progress Madden, and I am back with chapter two of the Vince Lombardi video ebook guide that I am releasing on YouTube. Last video, I showed you the brown right formation, hands down the best passing formation in this playbook, while still maintaining the ability to run the football. This video, we're gonna jump into chapter two, and we're gonna be looking at the double wing formation. Now, the double wing formation is just a variation of the brown uh, right in which we're simply just going to take the, uh, well, let's actually get the same personnel in the right spots. Um, we take this wing, wing back, and place the wing back at basically the tight end position, flexed off of the line of scrimmage, of course. Now, if you watched the last video, I noted that the fullback is a prominent ball carrier in the Vince Lombardi offense. So the fullback is going to need to be your primary running back. So in this video, we're using the Chiefs. I'm actually going to put in uh, Terrell Pryor just for fun here. Um, and Jamal Charles is obviously our primary ball carrier. So we're going to have him as the fullback in this offense. So first let's go ahead and look at the runs. It's uh, pretty obvious all the runs are fullback dives or fullback runs in general. So dives are pretty self-explanatory. Make sure the center is not covered. Run it up the middle. And now I'll show you the fullback lead. Fullback lead is actually a very very nice run. And I apologize for the video that's popping up here. But the fullback lead is another off-tackle run, except it's really nice because this is at a fullback depth. You can run it as is, simply hand the ball off, and then just try to hit that left B, C gap area, inside, outside cut as possible. Now, this is a pretty good run, um, but you're not going to really want to run it when that outside left edge is stacked. The good thing is, is if you're using the brown right formation, they're gonna know that most of those runs are gonna hit to the right side of the screen, and they should probably play pretty lax to the left. So that'll give the ability to run the fullback dive to the left. What I recommend when you run this is they audible and put TJ Ward at defensive end. That was weird. But anywho, you could maybe come out in this formation and then quickly audible, hit them, pull up the audible screen, and audible to just a fake play, brown right, to show them brown right, and then reset your play once you're set and they've shown you their defense to get you into this fullback lead that you originally called. It's just a quick shift of the tailback going to wing, and then you can quick snap this nice little run to the left side to keep your opponent off balance. The other thing you may want to do is this receiver is off line of scrimmage between, because the tight end is on the line of scrimmage. So the wide receiver on the right is motion snappable. So you'll be able to snap him at any point and help him get a seal and turn this fullback dive into kind of an off tackle. It's very nice because compared to a regular single back formation, Jamal Charles is closer to the line of scrimmage, allowing you to really hit that off tackle quickly. I mean, you're going to be able to get that ball outside in a about the time it takes you to hand off a regular fullback dive so that's a huge advantage and being able to motion this receiver is going to allow us to do some motion snaps uh, with other pass plays to keep our opponents off balance and as you notice the uh, wide receiver does a pretty good job getting a seal block on the end man on the line of scrimmage so that is the fullback lead let's go ahead and look at some pass plays out of this formation this formation is going to be a quote unquote rollout formation why is that well, the reason is, is because we have wheels in this formation. 83 weak is a very, very nice formation in which you're going to have one of those posts, one of the posts from the, the play weak flood that's in chapter one. Those posts get open against all kinds of coverage. Uh, you've got a delay tight end flat, which is really nice. Those are really effective in this game. And then you've got a post corner on the right. So you're going to have a number of things that you can do to help with blocking for um, your play that you're going to run, which is 83 week. As I mentioned earlier in the play, uh, or earlier when I started talking about the, the rollout, this is your rollout formation. Um, so you're going to be able to slide protect to the wheel side, and you're going to want to roll out. And if man coverage, just take your blocking or take the blocking that you can get and get out of bounds against man coverage. 
But against zone coverage, as I reset, I don't want to run this against goal line, but against zone coverage, you're going to be able to pull down the zone coverage and throw the ball into the flat as the, the man sucks down and the wheel turns up field. So we'll run it again here. Here's some zone coverage. Watch him cheat on it. Now we just throw the ball out and we hit D'Anthony, the Black Mamba Thomas, for a touchdown. So zone coverage is very, very hard to run against a play like this. Here they have good contain. We're able to throw that and drop that post route, but that post route is very good against zone coverage as well. So if you see that there's good containment, you're not going to be able to scramble. Just stay in the pocket, take what you can get, and really we didn't scramble there for a reason. I wanted to show you that the, the post beat man coverage as well. We'll go ahead and look at the replay. Um, but you're really just going to take what they give you on this play. Immediately look and see if the rollout, rollout side has a contain. If so, stay in the pocket. Be patient, and you'll be able to deliver this post route right as it cuts. See as it cuts and gets good positioning over the middle. So we didn't really have to roll out there. Now on the right side of the field, Dwayne Bowe is on a post corner. Post corners, you can hike throw them. Well, not really hike throw them, but throw the first cut as long as there's not robber coverage over the middle. And then your last read is going to be your dump, route, dump down route to uh, the tight end out of the backfield. I do want to say this, I believe tight end flats, if you pinch your line down, will cause them to always run to the flat. So let's take a look. Yeah. So right there we made a terrible throw as I was throwing off my back foot, but I just wanted to show you that if you slide protect down, the tight end should always run his route to the flat no matter what after he gets beat. So that's always a possibility as well. Very very nice against um, man blitz, man coverage, because that tight end should always, as I said, break to the flat. Particularly good against me and blitzes. I do want to show you this throwing on the first cut though. Terrell Pryor is probably not the best to do this with, but he's fun to play with at Madden, so I just figured I'd break him out for this video. So 83 week is real nice because you have the ability to stay in the pocket and throw the post or the corner post or the delay flat, but if I wish they'd stop running goal line. All right, I'm just going to run a play until they run something different. But when you run this play, you have the rollout option to the left, but you've also got the option to uh, really kind of get cute with it. We did that motion on the last down, so how about you motion against zone, motion the wide receiver to the left, swing the, the tail back, and now you've got makeshift screen if your quarterback isn't terrible of course to the left look at all that blocking that we had had the shovel pass been completed to Jamal Charles against the zone coverage you've got two lead blockers out into the flat then the post breaking over the middle so always potential for this play to pop off and get pretty good yardage now obviously on this type of setup you're you're hedging against zone coverage uh, you really if, if, if it's man you're gonna notice all the linebackers run to the left and you're going to hit either the post as it breaks over the middle or the delay flat. So here we see the main coverage. We hit the post. Real simple. Just watch the man. Uh, watch the flow of the linebackers as you snap the ball. Run it again. This is just uh, we're if it's zone, we're throwing the swing. If it's man coverage, we're throwing the post or the flat. So again, it was uh, it was a terrible throw by Terrell Pryor, but man coverage broke open and we were able to deliver that. So this is a pretty good rollout play, um, but it's not the only play in the formation that we can run. What's great about that play is you always have that wheel to the left. So uh, let's go ahead and run our next setup in this formation, which is the PA post. So PA post is very, very similar to what I showed you in the brown right, look at the brown right PA post, pretty much the exact same play, except if you remembered we like to swing the running back to the left to suck zones down. This is no different, except you'll just go ahead and flat the running back. This is what makes this a scheme. Same play, same route combination, same reads. Off the snap, we're able to use that tight end slant to pull zones down, throw the post behind it, simple high-low read um, off the play action. Um, there's really nothing to this. You're just going to watch the the flow of the linebackers. If it's man coverage, hit the man on the tight end slant because that tight end slant gets 
directly across the field. There's very little of a vertical component to his slant. He just immediately breaks into it. So here, there's no flat coverage. We can throw it to DeAnthony Thomas and pick up pretty good yards. I like to have a speedster as that wing because he gives you that option. So that is the PA post in that formation. This is pretty much a rollout formation. There's not a ton of great drop back passes in this formation, but there are plenty of little wrinkles that you might be able to run. So let's go ahead and look at, um, for instance, the fullback screen. Now the fullback screen, I suggest putting the running back on a swing route just because it's a little bit easier to get the ball out. And Terrell Pryor is really terrible at these pitches. Um, I recommend putting him on a swing route. And this, unfortunately, is not a slip screen. So there are going to be times where the men are just not going to be fooled by the route. If you know it's zone, definitely put the wing on a route to the flat and use him for additional blocking. But this formation does have one of the only screens in this playbook, so be a bad idea to ignore the fact that you have a screen. Um, you don't want to get that pitch animation. If you keep getting it with your quarterback, just go ahead and leave Jamal Charles on his route or put him on a wheel route, assuming that the wide side of the field is to the screen side. Because if you put him on a wheel route and the wide side is the opposite side, he's not going to run his wheel. But you should avoid throwing the terrible pitches if you're throwing a wheel route. This default screen route is not the best route. He does stop in the flat, which is kind of nice, but you really have to have zone coverage for this to be any good. The other two, the other two options have capabilities of beating man coverage, so it's pretty nice as well. Um, let's take a look at one more pass play in this formation. Again, this is primary, primarily going to be a rollout to the left formation, along with the lead, uh, the fullback lead, and the uh, and the uh, screen, but. You can throw the good post route to the right receiver, and we don't want to forget that, so we're going to take a look at 82 week. Now, 82 week, it's um, it's good for a couple reasons, um, mainly just mainly two reasons. The tight end route, the running back on the in the backfield, and the left receiver aren't really on the best routes, but I do want to pay attention to DeAnthony Thomas's route. He is running a vertical, and typically against four three sets, if you were to put a tight end on a streak, he would get kind of like bumped off of his off of the line, not really like pressed, but kind of like stumble on his route. So what I did for the purpose of this play is we're going to compare DeAnthony Thomas with Travis Kelsey. So as you can see, Travis Kelsey actually kind of got beat or bumped off the line rather, and um, DeAnthony Thomas didn't. So. The reason is, is because DeAnthony Thomas's route has kind of a tail to it. He's going to release outside without getting bumped off the line. As you can see, Travis Kelsey kind of gets caught up, gets kind of shucked a little bit by the end man, and DeAnthony Thomas definitely does not. So I apologize, I'm kind of having sinus issues if you can't tell, but it's nice that you have this route to DeAnthony Thomas because he's going to get a pretty clean release down the seam and we have a terrible quarterback but um, it's always an option if they're overplaying the main route on this on this play which is going to be Dwayne Bow on his post so as I mentioned the, those post routes always get open uh, against zone you may have to wait and hope you have a decent quarterback um, Alex Smith is gonna make all these throws but I'm just messing around in this this uh, this formation um, if you aren't getting the hook zones to play the route the underneath sharply enough so you'll what you'll want to do is just put the tight end on a route underneath to allow that post route to break against zone coverage and trail prior just sucks and he's making this video terrible so let's go ahead and sub in alex smith real quick trail prior is mainly used used for the rollouts but you know, you can get it done with Alex Smith, too. So 81 week, or, I'm sorry, 83 week. You would just put the, the tight end on some sort of route underneath to keep them honest. This is the wrong play. 
because that breaks much too late and I'm really fumbling on this video. Go back and call the right play for once. You want the play that has the delay tight end curl. 82 week. So if you're not getting what you want out of this play, just put the tight end on something that crosses over the middle. It's going to allow you to throw that ball to the wide receiver. And there he just gets it pried out. But Alex Smith does make the throw. We'll run it over and over and over. This is just a, a really, really good route. It's really easy to quick pass it. The cut is sharp. The cut is shallow. And it's uh, in a spot that's very tender on the field. And um, it's just a pretty good route in general. So, um, And then, of course, we'll look at the, the replay on the last play. Again, zones, you'll have a nice little high-low read here. Um, granted, we got sacked, but you have either the curl or Travis Kelsey in this window, and you've got the post in the streak occupying the center of the field in this window. So you've got the center field window to look into, isolating a middle third, and then you've got an underneath high-low occupying the hook tier. So... Just a nice little route combination. You can always put that tight end on the in route, and uh, you've got options. So that is going to be the breakdown. I know this one's a lot shorter. Uh, this formation is a complementary formation. It's def definitely not something you would um, run a ton of because the audibles are not really anything that you're going to want to. I mean, we do use two of the pass plays as audibles, but the fullback dive is just something you'll audible into. I recommend coming out in the fullback lead or the 82 week and running those plays situationally and then quickly audibling into whatever your base formation is just as a decoy, especially online, um, to give them that, that vision of, okay, he's running his base formation. Make them set up defense that is supposedly going to defend whatever you've been running all game and then audible by resetting back into the play that you called out of the huddle. So that's just a little suggestion I would do. So that's chapter two. Next video, we'll be jumping into a different formation. So um, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming on Monday. So keep a lookout for that. We'll be doing these chapters, a new chapter, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoon. So until then, I'm Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.